Let me go to Kristen Welker at the White House. Uh, Kristen, we had this long period of silence during the election season, the midterm elections. And in recent days, it's been one headline after another surrounding uh, the Mueller investigation, the Manafort uh, team communications with the president's lawyer. Now this, the president has been tweeting about it on a daily basis. Is there a sense that this thing is coming to a head, a sense in the White House that it's coming to a head? There is, Lester, and I think what you are seeing is President Trump increasingly embattled because of the Russia investigation and increasingly lashing out. Listen to the language he used to talk about Michael Cohen, his former lawyer and advisor, his fixer, he referred to him as, now calling him weak and really trying to downplay these developments, saying, look, there was no deal, so there's nothing to see here, there's no significance, really trying to pivot. But take a step back and consider the broader context of this week, Lester, as you point out. Paul Manafort, his former campaign chair who had a plea agreement with special counsel Robert Mueller, that agreement has now collapsed with Mueller accusing Manafort of lying to investigators. Those are allegations that Manafort denies, but it has raised the specter of a potential pardon by President Trump. And that's the question that I put to him. Is he now leaning, in fact, toward a pardon? Because he told the New York Post yesterday that it wasn't off the table. Today, moments ago, you heard him just reiterate that it is not off the table. So I think you are seeing this increasingly become an issue for President Trump. They are bracing for the possibility of more indictments from the special counsel. And you're seeing that reflected not only in his comments, but in his tweets earlier today, Lester tweeting, did you ever see an investigation more in search of a crime and calling the probe Joseph McCarthy style witch hunt? So really digging in, that's the backdrop as he heads to Argentina for the G20 summit. There was one headline related to that. He said, now he will probably meet with Russian President Vladimir Putin. Earlier this week, he'd indicated he was vacillating over that meeting because of Russia's aggression toward Ukraine, now indicating that will happen. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.